Hi everyone, your favorite scientist is back with experiment number three. This time it was whole day of banana, mostly banana. There was a little bit added calories from other sources, but 90% calories from bananas. I purchased a lot of bananas for this reason. And there was some problems that I need to mention first. Even though I really like bananas, it do happen that if you try to eat almost only bananas, they tend to stop tasting so good that you don't want them as much as you start your day with. And additional problem, which I didn't count it for, the satiety feelness, the, the fooling feel after the bananas really do not last very long. It's like two, maximum three hours. So that's not great. And now if we take a look what exactly I was eating, how the food composition end up being, uh, here you can see it's majority of everything is carbs from those bananas. There are some proteins partially from bananas, partially from milk. I will show you exactly what was in the diet added. And a little bit of fat. This is as well partially from milk, partially from bananas. If there would be no milk added, I think those values will be cut even on half. So half of those proteins and fat. And about the same amount of carbs. So that's one thing. But then if we go how it's looked like, is it fattening? I would say a little bit, not much. It still could have been much worse. Keep in mind, we are talking about me. So someone who went from obese to normal weight. So I have the tendency to overeat. So here it's probably a slight surplus, caloric surplus compared to what I should have. I should have around 3000. The app is slightly undercounting my calorie needs from my experience and from my testing. So then you can see uh, what was the additional uh, food that I consume on the lunchtime. There's bananas and milk and it was actually banana ice cream. I added some cinnamon and to those bananas, no, no added sugar. So nothing like that, just bananas, milk, cinnamon, frozen bananas, and it was quite delicious ice cream. I did enjoy this little change, just a little bit of added milk, and we have really cool ice cream. Mostly I was eating just raw bananas, the first portion of a little bit of milk that was with my coffee, morning coffee with lots of bananas, and you can see sometimes bananas appearing multiple times on those graphs and snacks as bananas, every, everywhere bananas. Uh, the point is for me to calculate exactly, I would just weighing all the bananas on the stand and then after I consumed them I was weighing whatever was left with all those peels of the bananas to figure out exact exact weight of the bananas consumed. So if you add it all up, that was a lot of bananas. Besides four pounds of bananas. I think it was around four, maybe five pounds of bananas. Wait a second. Two, three, four, five, no, more like six pounds of bananas without peels. So that's a lot. That's a lot. But 90% of calories come from bananas. So this experiment shows that bananas are indeed in my case, slightly fattening. So I would say normally for average person maintaining weight, not going through any type of weight loss, bananas will be most likely neutral. And I doubt you can really get fat on bananas, but still definitely not a food you can rely on. More like a dessert food. I, I was wrong. I was thinking that because I like bananas, it will be a perfect food to basically eat them all day. Bananas taste good. They have good structure to them like everything sounded perfect did it work as well as planned but in the same time not very bad it's not it's not going nearly <laughs> to the level of badness of the chocolate so those are the results is it something what you would expect from bananas neutral to slightly fattening or were you expecting bananas to be much worse the good thing about bananas like 1000 calories for me, it was cut off points. After eating bananas worth 1000 calories, I was not able to eat anymore. So I was full. I was full. I mean, I was not force feeding myself, of course. I was basically full in around 1000 calories from bananas. And that will be everything for this video. As always, thank you a lot for watching. And there will be more to come. I have more experiments planned. So let's figure out what is the best food for me. Maybe even for you. Thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next one.